Hey y'all, it's your buddy Chuck again, and we're back at it on May 8th. Just got to Kingsland. This is our first day of dashing on the new Dasher Rewards program with the tiers. So y'all, we're <laughs> we're gonna have to take some bad orders today. I'll talk about it more in a minute, but uh we're starting off with a stinker. This is Stefan's, seven and a half dollars. That all sounds great. But it's going like 9.8 miles. So, not an order I would normally accept. But we're gonna have to work on this tier system thing. I'll talk about it more in a minute. Let's go inside Stefan's. Is that Tiffany? Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Hello, how are y'all? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. So we got our Stephens picked up. It's in the hot bag. And <laughs> they told us to go south on 17 and take Scrubby Bluff Road and St. Mary's Road around. I went north on 17 instead, and I'm just going to go across Highway 40. So I shaved a mile off the delivery, but it might possibly be a little slower this way. Depends on traffic lights and stuff. There would have been basically no traffic lights if I had gone the other way, but it was a mile longer. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be all right either way. Good morning, Tiffany. I appreciate your business. Enjoy your Stephens and have a wonderful day. Alright y'all, we're working on this tier system trying to get some numbers up. <laughs> so we just accepted a $3 offer. Tropical Smoothie Cafe. $3 for three miles. There's going to be some limit to how bad of an order I'll take. I mean, I'm not taking a $2 10 mile order. But it looks like I will take a $3 three mile order. Thank you, boss. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, I'm still recording. All right, y'all. Never delivered to TNT Ready Mix Cement Factory, whatever, before yesterday, and now I'm going right back there again. This is a terrible order. Just trying to work on my stats, y'all. From my few hours of experience with the Dasher Rewards program and the platinum and gold and silver tiers, this looks horrible, y'all. Um, it looks like it's gonna be pretty critical to have platinum status. Hey, 
Hey, yo. Austin in here? Yes, sir. Hey, buddy. It, it said leave it at my door, but I didn't think you really wanted me to leave it at the door. Here, let me take a picture of that real quick. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. So anyway, y'all, this tier system, it's going to be brutal on me. I don't know. Once I get my number of deliveries up, you know, I'll need to do three or four deliveries a day. That doesn't sound like much of a challenge. Acceptance rate, I can deal with that as long as it's 70. Now, I hear that in some markets, they're testing out 80 percent acceptance rate and 150 deliveries in a rolling 30 days to keep platinum status and at that point I think I'm out I'm not happy with the way things are going all right y'all so far we've gotten three offers from DoorDash they've all been terrible and we've accepted all three this is a subway for five bucks going six miles terrible order no business except in this. Here we go. Subway, y'all. Inside Walmart. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Hey, buddy. How are you? I delivered to him the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm going all the way up to the submarine base. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. All right, here we go, y'all. We're going to Plantation Village, which is right across the the highway from the submarine base it's a drive and dead miles back this is not going so well hmm another dasher's been here All right, Heather, appreciate your business. Hope you enjoy your subway and have a terrific day. So y'all, I guess if I understand this correctly, this new tier system, if you're a part-time dasher, multi-apper, it's not enough to go to bed at night with 101 deliveries in the last 30 days because you'll wake up the next morning with 95 deliveries because of the roll in 30 days and then you won't be able to dash unless the zone is busy I don't know this is messed up I don't like it All right, y'all, there is absolutely nothing happening on DoorDash or Uber Eats. It's 10.30 in the morning, you know, not a great time for ordering food. But y'all, <laughs> I think we just got the best Spark order in the history of Spark. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's only paying $29, I mean, which is fantastic for what it is. So when I say it's the best order, you know, I've had higher pay in Spark orders. It's paying 29 bucks, but y'all, it's it's going like seven miles total, all of it west. I know right where I'm going for all three of these drops. But y'all, it's three of the tiniest orders. Lightweight, you know, <laughs> potato chips and stuff. M&M's. Uh, it's all, they're all just tiny little orders that weigh nothing. So this, this is going to be a piece of cake. This one order right here is going to be double what I've made on DoorDash so far. And I haven't declined any DoorDash orders. So anyway, y'all, about uh, six minutes we'll get loaded up. Go drop off these spark orders.
right, uh, we got loaded up with our three tiny little spark drops, and we're about to drop the first one off. It was just like a mile from Walmart. We are going seven miles, though, for the third drop off. But here we are, y'all. We're just about there. I think the GPS is telling me to do something stupid. <laughs> we'll see. All right, y'all. So GPS was no help on this. Um, I've delivered to these customers before. Uh, I've delivered DoorDash to them. This is my first time delivering Spark to them. But I'm either trespassing on somebody else's land and about to get shot or else maybe I'm at the right place. Maybe they're in this fifth wheel camper right here. I don't know, man. I might have to call them and see if I'm in the right place. If it's these people I've delivered DoorDash to, they're back here by this barn. Yeah. I think it's my DoorDash customer. I don't know. Wesley, I'm just kind of wandering around and uh, just on land <laughs> in my car. There's horses and stables and barns. I don't know who I'm supposed to deliver this to. Wandering around on land. <laughs> just pasture land. I'm just driving through grass. What are you doing? Well, it's what. Driving through grass. Well, it's somebody who lives in an RV or a, a barn or a van or. Oh, and, and, I've had one of those uh, out in Brunswick, yeah, and in Kingston, but I had one of those out in Brunswick recently. Look at that crazy chicken just walking around. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, that was an adventure. to a horse farm and it was I'm pretty sure my previous customer from DoorDash can I get out this way I think I can although I'm not in the Jeep I'm in a little dash mobile is wearing a jacket. All right, so these first two drops are just a mile or two from Walmart and they're very close together. But then I gotta go all the way to Lawnwood across US 17. So that's where all the driving comes in. And it would be tempting just to head on home while I'm that far west. Stacy's, I appreciate your business. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Have a great day. All right, two drops down, one to go.
All right, Style Family, appreciate your business. Have a wonderful day. All right, that was awesome. Easiest $29 ever in the history of delivery. All right, y'all, we just accepted yet another terrible DoorDash order. Panera, $5 going six miles west. You know, I realize I don't see diamonds anymore. That program's gone, but I've supposedly got first priority because they gave me platinum status. I've got first priority to higher pay. It ain't working out so far, DoorDash. Um, I think there's a drink with this order. I need uh, a medium green tea. Passion papaya ice cream tea. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You're Have a great day. You too. All right, y'all. We got our Panera picked up. It's going all the way to Clark's Bluff Road. This is ridiculous. For five bucks. I'm about to start declining these orders. I don't need to work on my acceptance rate. It's 77 or 78 percent. But it's the number of deliveries I got to work on. You know, we had 89 deliveries when we went to bed last night and woke up with 83. <laughs> this is going to be tough. All right, Mary Ann, appreciate your business. Enjoy your Panera and have a wonderful day. All right, y'all, every offer I've gotten so far today on DoorDash has been upside down. I've accepted every single one of them. They've all been terrible. I finally just declined an offer, a $2 McDonald's offer. <laughs> it actually wasn't upside down. It was $2 for like 1.4 miles, but I just didn't want to do a $2 order. This is not going well, y'all. Oh, by the way, I had to decline the most beautiful Uber Eats order a while ago. It was $11 for five or six miles. But I was right in the middle of delivering Spark. I mean, probably I could have... Oh, it, they were going total opposite directions. My last Spark order was going west and that Uber Eats order was going kind of northeast, you know. I, I could have picked up, I think it was Burger King, I could have picked it up and delivered it and just delayed my last spark drop by 15 or 20 minutes. I don't know. Anyway, I felt like I just shouldn't try to put those two together because they were going total opposite directions and like five miles in each way in opposite directions. There's a dasher with a Taco Bell order. 
All right, y'all, we just got a Panera order. I think it's my first order of the day that's not upside down. It's not good. It's $7 and change for six miles. But it's better than the upside down orders I've been getting. Sorry, y'all. Let's go get some bread action, y'all. Bagel and a hot bag. This dude ordered a bagel and a cup of coffee. Martha, okay. Whew. Man, I'm putting a lot of miles on the car today. Hey, fine, thank you. How are you? Hi. Hey, do you have a hunter here? It's me. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. That's a very light lunch. <laughs> have a good one. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, y'all. I think we just sat there and declined a $3 DoorDash offer and a $4 DoorDash offer. Dropped our AR 2%. I think we're down to, I don't know, 75, 74% now. So, so far, first day of the tier system, we've seen nothing but terrible orders. Just terrible, awful, $2, $3, $4, upside down. It's been awful. And they tell me I've got top priority to higher pay. <laughs> what a joke, what a lie. All right, y'all, we just accepted a spark order. Curbside pickup. Two drops, two small drops, 17 bucks. I don't remember. The miles are kind of high, maybe like seven miles or something, but I know right where it's going and it's kind of headed west, northwest, but west. And the uh, last drop is right off Harriet's Bluff Road, and I'll just take Harriet's Bluff Road toward home. It'll be cool. But anyway, now we should get loaded up any minute now with our spark order. All right, y'all, two very small little drops. First one's going west, uh, just kind of behind Taco Bell and Chick-fil-A and all that, um, off Lakes Boulevard. And then the second one, I'm pretty sure, is going off of Harriet's Bluff Road, but that'll be cool. I'll just take Harriet's Bluff and Coleraine Road home. So we're done for the day lost probably three points on our acceptance rate today delivered a bunch of upside down low pay orders hey how are you doing? pretty good you expecting some Walmart groceries got a delivery from Walmart You want me to set them inside? Okay, I sure will. All right. Are you Mr. Feliciano? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she just ordered the groceries. All right. Oh, let me take a quick picture of those bags.
and we're all set. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Have a great day. <laughs> oh, come on. It's the kind of day I'm having. Well, hey there. I was going to help you. I was like, I know they got, they got my groomer here. It's Is not that bad at all. That's the whole order okay, right there. Okay, good deal. You good got deal. it? Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Have a great day. You too. Thank you so much. Oh, wait. Let me take a picture of those bags. Oh, yeah, quick. yeah. <laughs> Delivered. Got it. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, y'all. That does it for Wednesday, May the 8th. I think it was the worst day ever for DoorDash, ever. And the first day of the tier system. Coincidence? I don't think so. That was brutal, y'all. I've never seen anything like it. Never. Every time I go to Kingston, every day when I go to Kingston as top dasher, at least half of my offers Maybe two thirds of them are high pay offers. I didn't get a single offer today that would have qualified as a high pay offer. Something's got to give, y'all. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to do this every day. This top priority for higher pay right now is an absolute lie. There's no way I was getting any kind of priority for higher paying orders. No way. It's a it's it's fraud. For them to tell me that is criminal fraud. It's a lie. Anyway, with the help of a couple of decent smart orders, we made 75 bucks, but it took us four and a half hours to do it. it comes out to like 1666 an hour. Thanks to Spark. Thank you, Spark, for rescuing me. I was making like seven bucks an hour doing DoorDash today. Where I usually, I can usually any day go to Kingsland and make 20, 22 bucks an hour on DoorDash. Like seven bucks an hour. That, that can't be a coincidence. That it's my first time ever dashing under this new tier system. We'll see how this goes, y'all. Anyway, y'all, thanks for riding along. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. Uh, we'll be going live at 9.30 tonight. I might even go live at 9. See if y'all want to talk about the tier system. That would be fun. <laughs> you know, I've tried to talk about topics before on the live stream and nobody wanted to talk about it. I just wanted to chat. <laughs> Which is fine and fun. But anyway, maybe we'll see y'all tonight. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow or maybe tonight.